We are making royal icing today. Royal icing consists of three main ingredients uh, it's from scratch anyways. We have glycerin, which is an inverted sugar. We have egg whites, and then we have icing sugar. Uh, egg whites, ideally you want to be at room temperature. Icing sugar, obviously room temperature, and the same thing for glycerin. Uh, we're going to incorporate the liquids in first, and then put the powder or the icing sugar in after that. Just to reduce it from sticking to the bottom, and the big dust coming up and inhaling that. I'm first going to put the liquids in. So, egg whites. Glycerin. Royal icing is considered the stiffest of all meringues. And because it's a meringue, that means it has egg whites in it and sugar. I'm just going to start mixing it on first speed. We do not want the incorporation of air applied to it. So you keep it on first speed with the paddle attachment. So glycerin is an inverted uh, sugar. Uh, this is not a requirement for this formula. It does uh, slow down the, the setting of the royal icing, so it gives you a little bit more extensibility. An option that you can do instead of glycerin would be to use another inverted uh, sugar, which would be corn syrup, clear corn syrup. Every time that you work with royal icing, you do have to rework it. Again, uh, just because it's with egg whites, uh, protein. So this here is going to be between a soft and a medium peak closer to a soft as it doesn't hold itself up. Uh, you want to be firmer with this and we don't need to add any more icing sugar or anything. All that we need to do is exercise the protein. Stay on speed one and it can mix up to 10 to 15 minutes. Work with it for that day. Allow it to rest in the cooler overnight. With the amount of sugar that is in it, the cooler is not required, but is strongly recommended. Royal icing needs to be covered at all times with a damp cloth. It doesn't need to be overly saturated, just damp. Uh, you're gonna be putting it over top of the bowl to prevent it from drying out. Once you reach that medium peak, you can see how it does, uh, like the Dairy Queen aspect, where it holds up just slightly and then starts to fold out. That is where we want to be at for typical line work. 